I told you I'm not the king of short answers. <laughs> the better question. <laughs> I feel like there's an affection for the idea of presenting songs that people can sing in the church. And there's an affection for people who just undyingly desire to worship with the church. And I see that distinction at times. And it's not uh, for me to, I guess, assess or judge specifically based on the optics, what I feel is happening. But I think it's important to continue to call back. Uh, are we doing things for God or are we doing things with God? <laughs> I think sometimes that can be a distinction. And in worship, I think over times uh, I've, I've witnessed uh, that time is the greatest teller of truth. And over time, you begin to realize that a lot of people were doing things for God, but maybe not doing those things for God, with God. And I think that when we see worship happen in a way that the leader is a part of the community, is inviting someone into an experience, isn't some, simply just presenting songs that we can sing together, but is entering into that space of elevating who God is together. I think that's when we start to see special things happen. And I think that distinction, uh, sadly, can't really be made simply by just observing. I think that distinction comes through experiencing people and experiencing life together. And like I said, time is, is the greatest teller of truth in that way.